use hashtags. So you're using just keywords. Okay. Yeah, you can All use right. either one. Mm -hmm. So how does it, how does it know that that's Tucson News? Just because those people because are in somewhere Tucson? in there. You know what I mean? Like, how does it know? Like, are they using some sort of keyword in there? Or? It's smarter than or us. Just um, what is it? It's it's looking at the words like this one's Tucson News. Okay, so this has the word Tucson in it. Okay. So you have tweets, but then you also have people who are, here. are have either one of those two words in yeah, their so information. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So then another cool search. I'm sorry. Go ahead, <coughs> Susan. I just I have a question. I okay. Am struggling keeping up with my website and my Facebook. And all of that. So when I, I understand. Twitter, I uh huh. So yes. I would put out a tweet that asks a question about um, beating or jewelry design or something to benefit the beat store. You can. I would recommend building your following before you start asking questions. So start engaging other people who have similar interests, um, who maybe offer similar products but are different. Um, yeah. So you could do. I don't know. Handmade jewelry. Honey, can, yes. you, can you pick somebody in here and just say, okay, here's how you should use it? You know, I think that would be helpful. Sure. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, uh, you, uh, who's Susan? Um, store, which would be beads or jewelry? Beads? Yeah, Let's see what we get with beads. Let's add Tucson in there. Not too much. Well, that's with Tucson in it. Okay. So you get lots of things with pearly beads. Let's see. Out of beads. So it's, it's a process. You just have to do it once in a while and see what you come up with and play with the different words like Dale offered, was, I think you were here for that, it was a couple months ago actually, where she actually helped us with different search terms, and so trying things like that too, custom. So that's a way you would find people you might want to follow. Right. And then they might in turn want to follow you. I can't spell jewelry, how do you? J-E-W-E-L-L-E. E-L. Thank you. Custom jewelry. So these are just different tweets. So you have purchased handcrafted, beautiful. So this is Etsy. Lots of Etsy connections. Are there beading yeah. clubs? Are there clubs of people that like to do beading? Because then you can look them up. They're bead societies. So are most of those people also jewelry? Like they're, they would be competitors? Well, but they, they would be good customers for your store. store. Yeah. Right. For the okay. website, because you're, you're going international here. So. And then this shows you people who are related to custom jewelry. And it might also be beneficial for that, Susan, um, to then go on to one of their sites. We'll just do this one, for example. Go onto their little profile page and see who's following them. Because those could be people that you want to interact with as well. And just kind of see, you know, because if they're already following someone who's with custom jewelry, they might be interested in something else that you're doing as well. And you can also look at their followers. Mm -hmm. so and who they're following, because that's who okay, their followers. Point. That's what I meant, followers. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. Let's see. So I wanted to show you more options for searching real quick. It's search.twitter. Dot com. Okay, so this is just like the search bar like this. You can type in hashtags or keywords or anything like that. Or you can go to advanced search. So this is a lot easier and better because you can get a lot more specific. So you can enter words in here that you want to look for that people are talking about or they're in their little profile. Um, you can even type in specific people here, um, places, so you can even do, 
you know, Tucson, Arizona. So then we'll search. I mean, let me the list. Could you, could you have some that would, would tweak your phone and some that won't? I mean, you don't want everything. Um, I think it depends on the app possibly because mine, if I get a direct message or a retweet and I have the app on, it'll, it'll come up with that. Um, if I want to pay attention to the feed, then that's something else I have to click on. But if I have, because I have it set up for alerts for the direct messages and the retweets. So if like somebody's name, and mine actually comes up as a text message. So if you tweet me on Twitter, comes up as a text message in my phone. I'm, thi I'm thinking like if I was Megan's competitor, I'd want to know if she was tweeting. At all times? Yeah, I'd <laughs> want to know as soon as she puts it out there. Yeah. Um, I don't have an app like that. That's something I can look into for you. So it's not like the star thing on Facebook? Right. The favorite, the yeah. Favorite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't have that kind of app. Anything that gets tweeted to come on my phone because I think it would probably kill your phone. Right. Like, yeah. But, I'm but sure there's a way to um, have only certain lists come to your phone. I'm sure there is search, somehow. Through Twitter search, you could take a search and save it as an RSS feed that will ah. feed to you an email. There's another way through Twilert, T-W-I-L-E-R-T dot com, where it'll shoot you an email and recap something you're searching on a regular basis. So that can be, you know, competitive brand. So that'll send you an email for things recap like that. What was the one the last Why alert? Why alert? Why alert? Well, I could see what the deal was trying to follow the Virginia earthquake. That that would, you'd want to know everything that ever was said about it if your family was there. Oi, what is that? Peter doesn't like me, Dale. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. So that's where I, I cert keep a, I keep an eye on my brand as well as other topics that I want information on. And it just drops me in the mail when I choose it to recap what's happening. Cool. Okay, so when you search, I can just search for myself right there. Okay. So when it comes up, I'm kind of surprised what I'm finding out there. So you can find out when people retweeted or, like I just searched it, it said New York Rangers. They said something about us. But that's weird, isn't it? I mean, do you think that's spam or what? So did you type in Baggins? I just searched Baggins Gourmet. Oh, Baggins Gourmet, okay. Because yeah. I see a lot of Frodo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> Frodo, Frodo Baggins. Yeah, not that. I just searched Baggins for it just to see what came up. And it was weird. There it is. So there's it had a actual bag. It too, which is kind of weird. Well, I don't know. So it, just, it, would just be, it wouldn't just be local. It'd be anything that has those words in it. Words in it, okay. But are you searching with hashtags? Nope, no. just typing just in. Oh, I. That did, it didn't come up on that. There we go. Oh, then the, the one I'm looking at isn't even on here. So, like, this one has Baggins Gourmet on it. Twitter follow me. Hmm. Kids yeah. eat Baggins Tucson. Yeah, like this. Like, how, oh, like this one. Okay, so like that one right there, that photography, is that, is that kind of uh, like spam? Because sometimes I get these things and I think they're spam. How do you tell? Oh, they're just tell, telling on Foursquare that they're at Baggins eating oh, bag okay. sandwiches. Oh, perfect. So that's, that's giving you, that works. the only okay. problem is there's a space between the at sign. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. why, and I think and that's so what this is. See, like this one right here, it had a hashtag too, so oh, how would black. I ever see that if I didn't Google or tw you know, Twitter myself? See uh, that went one? Dark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So like this one. So I should have retweeted that if I had known that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and that's where searching and paying attention. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Oh, so how does it? Okay, so it says. And how it's cool is it when a brand retweets something you did at a company? Yeah, that, and right. that's pretty big. Yeah. Do you think? That's yeah. Yeah, I think that so is. Cool. That's really cool. So you could retweet it. You use Twilight on your own yeah. hashtag of Baggins. But you yeah. have a Twilight on your own. But you could also reply and ask how the sandwich was. Yeah. 